All right. Um, you know, we are honored to be joined here by Fred Sargent, who was one of the original Stonewall marchers from 1970. Um, Fred, thank you so much for joining us today. It really is an honor. Um, so can you describe for us the, the energy of the first Pride March in 1970? Uh, the, the energy was not quite as organized as the energy today. <laughs> we, we had a lot of questions of when we were starting out. Uh, we didn't even have our permit until that morning. Wow. So things are very much up in the air. We didn't know how we were going to be received, and we were pretty much hoping for the best, and that's what we got. <laughs> so you guys just kind of mobilized and, and went and did it? That's right. We spent mm -hmm. a better part of, uh, from late 1969 until the March and June, organizing and putting together the plan. Sure. And, and how, do you, how do you feel now that it's become this, this sort of cultural event? How, how does it feel today to, to be here and to see this? It's really everything that we were looking for at the time and, and more. Mm -hmm. uh, and and it, it was about visibility for us because there was such a lack of visibility for lesbians and gays back in 1969. And that was the focus of our first march. And we, we see this visibility today in the march in ways we never expected. Uh, it's tremendous. Yeah, it is. Um, now, we're getting to the point where a lot of LGBT, uh, some of the younger LGBT people uh, weren't even born for the Stonewall riots. Right. Um, how do you feel that younger generations are carrying on sort of the legacy that you created or do you think that there's more that can still be done from sort of the younger generations? Well, I'm, I'm very pleased to see here today. You know, I had no idea what I would find when I got here. So many young people that are participating and energized, and they understand that the work is not done, that much, much more will need to happen. Uh, we have problems in Uganda, Nigeria, even in Alabama, having to do with whether gay rights will be uh, ever to be uh, affirmed mm -hmm. and it's good that the younger people today still see that that commitment has to be kept yeah um, who who are some of the uh, LGBT influencers that are around today that you're really kind of paying attention to and that you think are are sort of moving things forward uh, well groups like glad um, Another group that uh, we, had, we had heard of, but then uh, didn't have so much to do with. But uh, they're kind of losing my train of thought here. But uh, as far as leadership goes, groups like the Human Rights Campaign, mm -hmm. these were all groups that developed after uh, the march, and, and uh, they're providing so much of what we need are there, today. Are there any individuals that stick out to you from these organizations? Uh, to cite any one individual, I'd, I'd almost slight another individual. I'd like, to, I'd like to keep it, you know, that they're all doing a terrific job. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, what what is one piece of advice that you would give to somebody who has not uh, participated in LGBT activism but would like to? Well, certainly activism can mean many different things. It can be uh, an aspect of your life. If it's coming out to your coworkers or coming out to family and friends, it, you can start small or you can start large. You can come to a pride march and then go and talk to your family and friends. But that visibility is the key to the whole thing working mm -hmm. and why we're seeing the results we're seeing today. Why marriage is now a, almost a foregone conclusion mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the entire country. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Absolutely. How do you see the movement evolving in the coming years? What's up? How do you see the movement evolving in the coming years? I'm sorry, I can't how, hear. How do you see the uh, movement evolving in the coming years? I think it's. I think it almost has to become. While it is international, I think there has to be more of an international focus because of the, the extreme danger that gay people are finding themselves in around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it, an American can travel someplace and not realize where they're putting themselves 
at the time they go on vacation. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And um, can I ask, what are your plans for the rest of the day? I'm going to follow up through the march and see what's happening at the end of the march. Very cool. Yeah. Great. Well, uh, you know, it was an honor having you here, and thank you so much for thank coming you. out. Thank and, you. Um, thank you so much. Thank you very enjoy, much. Enjoy the rest of your day. You it's too. a beautiful day. So.